This is another quick one for Daniel Erdman, who is continuing to insist that all lines on FAA sectional charts are straight. Daniel, you should recognize this chart as the Phoenix sectional that you've been talking about. I'm going to zoom into the title area of the chart to confirm that it is the Phoenix sectional from the Federal Aviation Administration. It's the current cycle of that chart. If we scroll down to the overview map, we can see all the available sections, sectionals for the lower 48 states, and the shaded one here is the one that we are currently working with, the Phoenix chart. I've drawn a red uh, rectangle on this chart that we're going to use as a reference for straight lines. And if I drag the rectangle over here to the corner of the chart, we can confirm that the left edge and the top edge are straight by comparing them to the edge of the screen and the bottom of the toolbar here. If we drag the rectangle down to the lower right corner, we can confirm that the bottom edge and the right edge are perfectly parallel to the side of the screen and the bottom of the screen. So we are working with a rectangle that has four straight sides. Now we're gonna zoom in again and focus on the 33 degree latitude line down here and the 34 and a half latitude line, which is here. I'm gonna move the chart so that this latitude line is just touching the bottom of the toolbar so we can establish whether this line is straight or curved. So it's just touching the bottom of the toolbar here and right away we can see that that latitude line is curving down away from the toolbar, it passes through the top of the rectangle to the inside of the rectangle, continues to curve down, and now you can see it begins to curve back up again, back towards the rectangle, through the top of the rectangle, back towards the toolbar until it meets the toolbar and is hidden behind the toolbar again. So we can confirm that again, the top of the rectangle is straight by comparing it to the bottom of the toolbar. Those two lines are perfectly parallel. This line, however, the latitude line is obviously not parallel to the bottom of the toolbar. That's a curved line. Over here, the 33 degree latitude line starts at the right edge of the screen, curves down towards the bottom of the screen passes through the rectangle to the outside of the rectangle, continues curving down until it meets the bottom of the screen, disappears behind the bottom of the screen, and eventually begins curving back up again. So we can see it pop up here, curves back up to meet the rectangle off to the side of the screen. Again, if we scroll the map, so that the rectangle is at the bottom of the screen. You can see that the rectangle is a straight line, but this line of latitude is not. If we look at the left edge of the rectangle, it's perfectly straight lined up with the left edge of the screen. This longitude line begins at the bottom corner of the rectangle but it does not follow the rectangle vertically. It's tilted slightly inward. And on the right side, the right side of the rectangle is perfectly parallel to the edge of the screen, so that's a straight line. And it's vertical. This line of longitude starts at the bottom corner of the rectangle, but it is also tilted inward, like the one on the left. This is perfectly normal and it's to be expected with this type of a chart. If we zoom in over here to see what kind of chart these sectionals are, we'll see it's a Lambert conformal conic projection with standard parallels at 33 degrees, 20 minutes north, and 38 degrees, 40 minutes north. 
all Lambert conformal conic projections covering the northern hemisphere have lines of latitude that curve around a point to their north and have lines of longitude that converge towards the north. That means all U.S. sectionals have lines of latitude that curve and have lines of longitude that converge towards the top of the chart. Lambert conformal conic projections in the southern hemisphere do the opposite. They have lines of latitude that curve around a point to the south and they have lines of longitude that converge to a point in the south. 